We must administer enthroned deliverances. Luke chapter 11 verses 20 to 22. But if I cast out demons with a finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. So Jesus is using the uh, picture of a, of a, of a ruler uh, who is guarding his possessions. But when someone who is stronger than him comes, he conquers, he overpowers and he takes what was uh, in that ruler's possession. And he's using this in context with him casting out devils by the finger of God and demonstrating that God's kingdom has come in to our realm. To the course of this week, we've been talking about the fact that we as believers are enthroned with Christ in heavenly realms. And one of the things that you and I are, 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 must do on the earth is to administer divine deliverances or enthroned deliverances. Because when we come into a situation, we are always bigger than what the devil is doing in that situation. Why? Because we are coming from the Father's right hand. We are coming from a throne there are beyond our higher to which there is no other throne. This is the highest throne. We are seated with Christ in heavenly realms. And when we come into a situation, we are always stronger than every demon, every evil spirit, every work of the enemy in that situation. And so we can bind the strong man. We can spoil his goods. We can set the captives free. We can administer deliverance. And like Jesus was doing, we can cast out evil spirits and enforce the kingdom of God in that situation. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17 says that on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. So Mount Zion referring to the church is a type of the church in the New Testament. We see that in Hebrews the 12th chapter. And in the church, there will be deliverance. The church is a place or is a body of people who are able to administer deliverance. That means they are able to tear down what the enemy has done and set people free. And I want you to, as a believer to understand that you are somebody, when you walk into a situation, you are the person who represents God's kingdom, God's throne in that place. You've been seated with Christ in heavenly places for a reason, to administer divine deliverance and throne deliverance in that situation. Now step out, use your authority, set the captives free. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've made us sit together with Christ in heavenly places. And with that authority, I pray for those listening, I undo, I break, I destroy every yoke of the enemy over their lives, over their mind, their bodies. I declare them whole, over their finances, over their situations. I declare them blessed. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.